So with the echo input, you can add Alexa brain to any regular speaker. Ah, not again. Amazon is really good at pushing their original products and chances are you already own a couple of streaming devices and smart speakers. But if you don't, well, Amazon has recently introduced this echo input in India, starting at just rupees 3000 or $35 in US. Now, I have been using the last two generations of Echo Dot for a while now. So when I heard about this Echo input, I was really excited to try it out. Now, for all those who are wondering what this actually is, well, it's pretty much the Echo Dot minus the speaker. So it will convert any speaker into a smart speaker. And honestly, you can still do that with this Echo Dot, but then you will be paying extra for the speaker, which you don't really need. And this is where this Echo input comes in. It basically adds Alexa brain to any regular speaker. So let's check it out. First impressions, it's tiny and sleek, kind of like a hockey puck, though I would have loved it if they have actually had a magnetic back, but it doesn't. The Edge has a micro USB port to power it up, which is nice since they have a proprietary port in the Echo Dot 3 and most importantly, a 3.5mm audio jack. Unlike the Echo Plus or the Dot, there is no volume controls on this. All you get is the action button to activate Alexa without seeing the wake up word and a button to mute the device's four microphones. This one doesn't have an internal speaker, so you need to connect your Echo input with an external speaker either with an aux cable or Bluetooth. I was expecting a light ring like you get with all the Echo devices, but unfortunately in this Echo input, all you get is a small light that looks like the notification light in smartphones. Thankfully, Amazon makes up for it with an audio chime that plays every time you say the wake up word. The idea here is to connect this Echo input with your music system either via Bluetooth or cable and then use it as a smart speaker. The setup process is pretty much like the Echo Dot, so simply put one end of the aux cable in the Echo input and the other end to the speaker. If you have a Bluetooth speaker, then you can still use it with the Echo input. Next, install the Alexa app on your phone and under device, pick Echo input. Once you are connected to the speaker, it's pretty much like any Echo device. So it's safe to assume that it offers exactly same Alexa features as you get with other Echo speakers. One thing that I was waiting to check was the mic sensitivity on this Echo input compared to the mic sensitivity on this Echo Dot 3 or even the previous generation of Echo Dot. So let's put it to test. Alexa. Alexa. So that was interesting. The mic sensitivity on this Echo input is definitely not as good as the Echo Dot 3. At best, it's equal to the previous generation of Echo Dot and maybe even worse. And finally, here is one cool thing. You can simply play a song on Echo input and broadcast it to all the Echo devices in the network. For example, Alexa, play the Blue Danube by Johann Strauss on everywhere. So finally, who should buy this? Well, if you are in the market for some smart speaker, then I would recommend going with this Echo Dot or even Google Home Mini. They offer way more value for money. However, if you already have a great music system in place and all you need to do is convert it into a smart speaker, only then this Echo input makes sense. Well, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys are going to downgrade to this Echo input. Anyways, do check out our other video on Google Home Mini versus Echo Dot 3. It's pretty dope. Like always, it's been now signing off. I will see you in the next one.